If you grew up playing Minecraft like me, then there was probably a time in your life where you really wanted to play Minecraft with your friends, but uh, sadly, it, it never happened. Until now! Fa fast forward a couple years later, and here I am attempting to survive 100 days in heavily modded hardcore Minecraft with my two childhood best friends, Sodi and Hacky. This video was so fun to make, and we even added proximity chat, which I think made it 10 times more immersive and fun. It it's just crazy to see how far we end up progressing in all in hardcore core mode it's insane really but anyways basically our only goal for this video is to survive for 100 days obviously oh and kill the typical minecraft bosses as well as just become as rich as possible and also dive into all the epic mods that this pack has to offer and don't worry in case you guys want to play along i got you with the links in the description just do me a favor and make sure before you start clicking things wait until the end of this video it helps me a lot and guys i got kids to feed maybe one day in the future all right if i ever find Find love. I don't know. Anyways, enjoy the video and remember, hey, if you laugh, you have to subscribe, right? I don't make the rules, baby. I don't make the rules. All right, roll the roll the video. Let's go. Realize that that it worked. <laughs> what? Hey, you seem to be in a okay. predicament there. All right, guys, we got we got to we got to get serious here. We're gonna, we're gonna start surviving. Oh my, this world's insane. This what? Is crazy. Oh, why dude, does it check look so this out. <gasps> Whoa. Yo, All right, let's start breaking trees and get started. Come on now. We began chopping trees, and man, there's just something about the start of Minecraft that just never gets old. And I was so excited to begin our adventure. Boy, check out these fishies. Wait, let me see. Wait, wait, look at oh, bro. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Hey. Boy. We did some exploring for some food because you know we we don't want to die, and then we quickly realized. Uh, Oh, okay. yeah, this world's dangerous. Yeah, that's a real life Minecraft grizzly bear. There's a mom in a tub. We had to make sure we played this right because obviously it's a lot easier to die early on in the game. So we dug a little tunnel and waited for the night to pass. All right, get in, hop in. Let's go, boys. Bro, why is this raccoon mean mugging me right now? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know rule one. Oh, I was going to oh, say rule oh. one. What's oh, don't die. Don't, don't kill somebody. Don't, don't, don't kill somebody. Chill. All right, do you have any armor? You made armor? Yeah. Gratata. Hey. Dang. Five for it. Oh, thank you, sir. We're looking a little bit more strong like we're not going to die. Are we... Dylan's crazy. Woo, nice. All right, where do you want to go? North? I look you want to make a shield. What is that noise? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, let's go, boy. There might be two. <gasps> Diamond! Yes! Gold. Day three, we were out exploring when I just got this feeling it was going to be a great series. <laughs> Watch out for the piranhas. Watch out for piranhas and sugar mamas. Are those things correlated or? Nope. Oh, we were out searching for a spot to build and really trying to see what this world had to offer when we ran into elephants. Yeah, elephants in Minecraft. Oh no my way. gosh. I know how to speak elephants. Stay here, stay here, stay here. I got this. I'm interested to see this. Me too. What if they're packing? It's cool, guys. He's friendly. <laughs> oh, he just ate oh, that bush. He just ate the grass. What? Oh, that's a Bro, Dylan, don't say that, bro. Chill. <laughs> Yo, I insulted his mom. <laughs> guys, it's the gazelles. Today you die. Dude, these things are quick. Oh, that thing's fast. Ladies and gentlemen, watch as we see Shody pop and hunt the gazelle. He's going in for the kill, but the gazelle seems to be faster than him. While Hacky was on an IRL side adventure, Sodi and I continued the search for a base location, and then you wouldn't believe what one. we found. Yes. Nice. All right, you try and get one now. What do I do? Right, right click it with bones. Sodi's first dog. Ah, oh, didn't get it. If I wasn't in hardcore, I'd whack. <laughs> Come on. That. What the? Monkeys! What? Let's not Monkey? kill them because they could be evil, but bro, what? That's so no cute. No way. Capuchin monkeys. Capuchin monkeys. Oh my, he's Can stretching. we tame one? Oh, with bananas maybe? <gasps> Josh. <gasps> no it worked. Way. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna go get more bananas. <gasps> gorilla! It's a whole gorilla family. This is so rare. This is like a one in trillion chance of finding these. Uh, I found gorillas. No way. Yes. Dude, I tamed these six monkeys. What? <laughs> Bro, I just tried to tame so many. How'd you tame them? I uh, just right click with bananas. <laughs> I, <was trying>. <gasps> I got him. <gasps> you got him. Yes. Nice. Can I? <gasps> I'm carrying him. No way. Yes. How'd you do, that? How'd you do that? Right click. I got a monkey. I got a monkey. All right, monkeys, go get this piggy. 
Look at that, they dude. Just all the work throw poop at it? Yeah, unfortunately, we had to leave some pets behind across the ocean. But don't worry. We did hope to come back for them once we were, you know, a bit more set up. What's up, Orca? <gasps> oh! He jumped. Oh, that was cool. <gasps> dude, no way there's northern lights. <gasps> oh, dude. my gosh. This is a magical moment in Minecraft. We have a whale. We have the sunset. And we have northern lights. That is crazy. This is beautiful. This really is. Sodi and I traveled the ocean for days, of course, you know, scavenging any loot we could from the bottoms of the ocean, and then eventually we found this beautifully well-formed valley where we decided to settle down and start building our very own town. After nearly finishing my house, I decided to go on a quick mining trip to get some more iron. I probably shouldn't have gone off alone, but hey, I was feeling alpha, boys. That's right. And so I went and hey, it actually Ooh, turned out pretty good. I got a lot of resources. Yes, let's go. We found diamonds, boys. Man, finding diamonds never gets old, I'll tell you. I raided these old ruins I found and then processed the iron to make some armor. And, you know, you gotta be smart and hardcore and making armor is smart. Then I was like, how cool would it be to connect both Sodi and I's base together via some sort of, like, underground tunnel? So I got to work on that and dug myself a basement as well so I could also, you know, have some room to dive into other mods. Because that's where the fun really starts to happen. I started diving into Mechanism because that mod has some really good stuff for us to help with hardcore you know like jetpacks so i made a metallurgic infuser and a heat generator and then i got sidetracked and started working on touching up our land a bit and began setting up a farm man before i knew it, this place was looking awesome like it was definitely starting to feel like home Day 19, I did some more farming because, hey, farming is really good to do in Minecraft. And then I also made this cool dock on our lake, maybe for some, like, I don't know, future fishing or something. I don't know. I don't know. But it looks cool. That's, that's all I do now. Day 20, I set out to find some lava to power the heat generator. And by the time I had gotten back, Sodi had finished up setting up a fence around our land to keep all the mobs out so, you know, they don't end our existence and cause us to lose everything we had worked so hard for. Now that we were decently set up, it was time for Sodi and I to go get a bunch of resources as much as possible because you guys know modded items are not cheap not at all and i also wanted to get our jetpacks asap so we headed down into this ravine i found under our base and very very carefully mined as much as possible what there's zombies coming underwater bro what ah! an evil skeleton just dropped down on me it's a skeleton pillager oh oh you're dead son oh my gosh a lot of diamonds holy Hey, nice. Hold on, I gotta take a picture. Is that all of them? Oh, okay. All uh, right, there's one right here. Sodi's first diamonds, guys. Gotta take a picture. Yes, sir. All right, say cheese. Cheese. Nice, bro. Nice. Congratulations. Sweet. Thanks. Oh, I'm hyped. Let's go. <gasps> ah, the, the beetle's attacking me. It's so slow. <laughs> <laughs> You can't catch me. Oh, oh, oh my, bro, he was moving quick. Day 22, Sodi and I beat this giant beetle to death for, I mean, not for no reason, but he randomly spawned right in front of our houses and then he attacked me. So, I, you know, we just, we killed him, okay? And then I made this tank and went to go fill it with some more lava. Day 23 was actually a great day for mechanism progression. I managed to make a wind generator to power our machines and began crafting a bunch of steel. Oh, 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 then the next day we went to get some obsidian to make another portal we, we decided though we really weren't that ready to go to the nether just just quite yet and we wanted to wait until hacky got back because you know three is probably better than two at least you know in the nether especially so we decided to wait and try and get you know a little bit more powerful i finally got an enrichment chamber set up and then we caught this raccoon because why not we ran out of resources so we headed out on one huge mining trip to get as much as uh. possible Woo nice. I got a name tag. Does it Going for the hit. Poison. Creeper, creeper, go to the other. Oh! Wow. 
what? <gasps> oh, what, is going on? what is this? No! Stop chasing me, Josh. <laughs> it's a silver fish. <laughs> you got him. Right. Day 29, I worked on upgrading some of the machines to make them go faster. And then Sodi was actually able to make the jetpack, but I told him we should probably upgrade it to an armored one. So he went and worked on that. Well, I actually worked on setting up this hydrogen system needed to fuel the jetpack. And I know it sounds kind of scary, but trust me, it's pretty simple, actually. So this is a pump. It's right above the water source. Power it in the back. And that allows it to collect water. And then it's going to shoot the water up into this electrolytic separator. Operator. And then if we power this guy as well, it's gonna start producing hydrogen and oxygen Ooh, And that's yeah. what we put our jetpacks in to fill it. Uh, that's sick. So he finally finished upgrading the jetpack So we took our very first Yay! test flight oh, <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, these were definitely going to be useful and help us survive way easier. We flew all the way to the top of the mountain, and man, that view was insane. We're just soaking it all in and just appreciating how far we had come. I'll be honest, Josh. Yeah? I've had a great, great 30 days, but... I'm tired of this life. I'm tired no, of No, Sonny, no. I began setting up an area for the enchantment table and worked on it a little bit more on day 32 until I ran out of bookshelves. So Sodi and I went exploring for some sugar cane. Hey, listen. There's a reason I out-evolved you, all right? There's a reason. No way he survived that. We actually went exploring for a couple of days, just checking things out, and then Hacky was finally back, so we updated Hello. him on our progress. Hi. Welcome back. Come in. Welcome to our commune. Ooh, I like yep. it. I like. I like. We got the, some the windmills. We got jetpacks. As, mm -hmm. as you can see, we're clearly far more advanced than you are. You little ah. trash peasant. But anyways, welcome, welcome, bud. Hope you enjoy your stay at the commune here. Why can't you be like Josh? He has an estate. Yeah, I got a home Just estate, Sodi. Why can't you listen, be like me, buddy? This? Read what up is this? Read it. Home estate. estate. Home Makes estate. sense to me. What? Is, what Your mom? It means like home sweet home. It's the place you feel. Do you pe home estate? So the, my that's place of home, establishment. That's what home is. No, no, that's what? that's where you. Where's my home gonna be? I've started clearing out a little place for you right here. You're gonna you're gonna Ooh. park it down right here. Ooh. Here, have some mushrooms. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sodi and I saw some magical bird floating in the sky, so so naturally we flew towards it. Sodi's about to die, watch. Whoa, what? Sunbird's blessing. <laughs> Dylan, you can't fly, but you're poor. You're dog water, you're trash. Yo, that was a phoenix. Screw you guys, that's sick. It was a sunbird and it kissed us. It's a phoenix. It's a phoenix. It blessed us. No, it's a yeah. sunbird. It's a it's phoenix no it's a sunbird it's phoenix it literally says sunbird phoenix is a city <laughs> all right itachi the gamer brother appreciate you leaving that comment hope you feel better man and thank you so much for being a subscriber and watching my videos you the man i'm naming this raccoon after you you are now the embodiment of a raccoon inside my virtual reality world of minecraft itachi the gamer <laughs> Hey! <laughs> day 37 was a really interesting day. I began connecting the underground tunnel from Hacky's house when I found this underground cave. And then I found this roach just all alone. So, of course, I got a lead and brought it home. And I, and I named it. Hey, my boy Rochi, what's up? Alright, buddy, you're free to chill on my pad. There's some snacks in the chest right over there if you get hungry. Alright, man, enjoy your stay here. I then went to try and get some cows and I thought I was, you know, being smart by trying to use the lead to bring them into my animal pen. But, uh, they died on impact. No! No! My beautiful cows! My cows died, man. How'd your cows die? They hit the ground too hard, man. I'll be back. I'm gonna get more, I guess. I went back the next day to get some more cows because we really needed to get a cow farm going for leather to make backpacks. And this time, I was smart about it and placed some water down first, and that seemed to work perfectly. And just like that, we have cows. Now let's breed them. <laughs> <laughs> the parrots and the bats. All right. We were using so much resources, so I went mining a bunch, and then I decided to make a good old-fashioned mining turtle so I could have it mined for me until we got something like the digital miner set up. Excavate five. All right, turtle, do your thing. Have fun. Oh, you guys hear something mining? It's just a turtle. <laughs> All right. Dylan's got his jetpack and free runners. He's no longer a pleb. Ooh, it's doing its thing. Dang. Bro. I, I told it to mine a 5x5 five five down to bedrock. Beautiful. Poor raccoon's probably lonely. It needs a soulmate. Day 40, Sodi finally, finally made the atomic disassembler, which, oh, this was game changer. Check this out. So they're powered. All right, let's go upstairs. Yo, he made the atomic disassembler. I think you can make it faster. Normal. Oh, yeah, I can make it fast. Dang. 
And then I can also set it to extended vein mining. All right, watch, ready? Dang. Look at this. Oh, Where are yes, they? I got another baby. <laughs> what should I name him? Pickle? I don't know. Pickle. Day 42, I harvested the farm and breeded the cows and made some oh, musical yeah, instruments. I, that's right, I was becoming a professional Minecraft musician. Whoa, how did I just play that? That literally sounded like a horror thing. Oh. Please tell me that wasn't Rochi. Please. Oh. <laughs> then I made some new upgraded signs that made the basement look just a little bit nicer. Haki was off on another IRL mission once again, and we needed to upgrade our storage system, and that meant we had to go to the nether. I mean, we had jetpacks, we had some decent armor, so you know what? Sodi and I said, screw it, and let's do it. What's the worst that could happen, right? So we headed to the nether. It actually wasn't too bad. The jetpacks made me feel way more safe. And so we started exploring the nether in search of another fortress or an enderman biome. Well, we ended up finding an ender biome first, and so we started killing a bunch of endermen so we could find the stronghold to get to the end you know you know you guys know how that works right <laughs> and then we finally found another fortress and looted it and then i almost died by this piglin but uh it's fine because i stole some of the loot so hey we're, we were even they're banging what? oh my gosh you gotta look at this they're banging look at this what you see this Jeez. i have a theory that i didn't do this what do you mean? Well, because you have a sign just like that on yours. Oh, the dude. So put you that must there? have. What does no, it say? Oh. oh, what the? Day 45, I did some small upgrades to my house and saw Sodi was fishing on the dock and seemed kind of lonely. So uh, I dropped a cow off to cheer him up. Oh. What the? I was like looking, I was like, where's Josh? And no way this just happened. Oh, even more. <laughs> They're multiplying. Day 46, we decided it was finally time to find a stronghold. So we set out on what was actually a pretty short journey for once. There actually ended up being a stronghold in the ocean just a couple hundred blocks away from us. Where? Is that it? I think this is it. It is. No way. That wasn't even that far. Nice. All right, now we gotta find the portal. Ooh, feral claws increases my attack speed. How come I can't open this dang door, Josh? It's an iron door. You have to press the button. Oh. Uh. Oh, this is it. Sweet. So what you do is place Eye of Enders and you fill all of these up. But we need all right. more. All right. So yeah, just jump in. You should be able to... Jump in that lock right. right there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you think. You thought. You thought. We looted everything and set a marker, then headed back to the nether to get some more blaze. And on day 48, we set up the portal Woo! and went oh, to the end. What? Yes, sir. If you jump in this bad boy, you'll go in the end. Oh. Whoa. Yep. All right. So the ender dragon is above us with a bunch of endermen. So don't look at the endermen. That's the dragon. Oh, it's right above us. Okay. So, apparently we can't leave unless we kill the ender dragon. Yeah, I didn't really uh, realize that once you go into the end, you, you can't get out until you beat the dragon. That's, uh, that is my bad. So, I was just trying to get some ender pearls, you know? I put us in a very tough position. The stupid dragon would not perch, and we didn't know what to do. We weren't ready for this, but then luckily, somehow, eventually, Sodi got it to perch, and we were actually able to slay this thing. Let's go. We actually did it. We weren't dying today. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah, we got him. Oh, no. All right, let's head back let's home. Let's go. Uh, let's go into the portal. Dun, 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 dun. I wasn't recording. Well, guys, we did it. I wasn't recording anything. Luckily, Sodi was recording. But, uh, da 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 da, we beat Minecraft. No, we didn't beat Minecraft just yet. We still had way more to do. This is modded Minecraft. I mean, to get pretty much the best armor in the game, you have to kill the dragon like a couple of times and respawn it, you know? So that's gonna be kind of hard. Then all of a sudden, I got this surge. I, I couldn't help myself, okay? I got this idea to troll Sodi by filling under his house with roaches and then waiting until day 100 when they all multiply and then just letting them go out all over his house. And you know what? I just, I could not wait. That is what Minecraft is all about. Trolling your friends. All right, I'll try uh, some fishing with you. All right. I got a bite. Oh. What the? 
Are we still on the what line? The? <laughs> 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 we went fishing in the ocean for some Neptunium ingots, oh. which you can make some really good armor and tools with. But uh, we fished all the way until night, and we didn't have any luck. It was uh, sad, to be honest. But uh, we said, screw it. Forget the armor. It's not important, all right? What's really important is toasters. Toasters are way more important, and luckily, Sodi made one. You know, although it wouldn't work, though, for some reason. The toaster would not toast our bread. It was, it was, uh, kind of sad. We had to keep eating our toastless bread. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Why won't the bread go on um, the toaster? Day 52, we went to the nether and got a bunch of quartz to smelt down into silicon for the refined storage system. And then on day 53, I checked on my mining turtle. Mining turtle, don't tell me you're in the lava. No, oh, he is. He's directly in the lava. Well, that's an RIP. Oh, this is so nice. The vein miner's insane. Look at this. That is satisfying. Oh my god, tons of resources. So easy with the atomic dissembler, man. It was it was so satisfying. And then Sodi made a basic oh, smeltering nice. factory, which made smelting things a lot easier. Day 54, Sodi and I were just out exploring when I found these uh, creepy, long, slimy, green, ancient, giant dinosaur lizards. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the quickest way to death, actually. These crocodiles have been around for approximately 7,000 years. Yeah, and then we were mining when I uh, saw this thing. I don't see any slimes. What the? Watch out for this giant centipede, bro. What? Oh my god. <laughs> what is that thing? We needed slime balls to craft some items for refined storage, and the best way to get slime balls was to kill jellyfish and burn their slimy little bodies in a furnace. So we headed into the ocean and collected as many jellyfish as possible. I just got a universal attractor, which is basically a magnet. I am so happy right now. And then on day 56, man, Sodi found out about the prank. What in the world is going on over here? Uh, that's so what? What the heck? How did this get here? You know, I saw you come around my house one day, but I didn't know what you were doing. Now I figured it out. <laughs> These are not what you think they are. These are actually good luck roaches. And so basically, if you have them in Minecraft around your house, um, that's pretty diamonds gross, spawn near yeah. around you. No, 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 no. This, this is some sick, weird stuff. You, you need help. You, you need help. You need some help. Everybody had their own individual tasks at this point. Hacky was out looking for bunny hide trying to make us backpacks, and Sodi began making the train station so we could go back and forth from the mountain a lot easier. And I actually worked on upgrading our power with an advanced solar panel. Oh, nice. <laughs> look at this thing. Dang, I think it's ginormous. I wanted to get our machines out of the basement and have one centralized building for that type of stuff, and so I began creating a warehouse right by Sodi's train station. I found some pretty sick metal blocks to build it with, and uh, it, it took a lot of iron, but I think I think it was worth it. After a couple of days of some solid building, by day 68, I had finally finished the warehouse. Sick guys, we uh we made the warehouse. I think it looks pretty cool. It's pretty warehousey, and it sounds like a warehouse. Check this out. <laughs> Echo. So since I failed to prank Sodi, I decided to fill up Hacky's basement with just tons and tons of roaches to try and you know prank him instead at least. He really hated roaches, so this should be fun. Under cockroaches in his under his house, bro. <laughs> There's so many. Is that low enough? No, it's so loud. <laughs> Day 69, I was kind of, you know, just feeling sad, fe feeling down. For no reason, no reason. Hey, Josh, you all right, buddy? Oh, oh. yeah, man, I'm, f I'm fine. Day 70, I finally got the refined storage set up. I showed Sodi how it worked, and man, this thing is gonna make everything just so much easier just to craft and just stay organized. Oh, it's nice. We can fill this up oh. with all of our items, bro. Shoot, that's Not crazy. only that, but we can attach a wireless thing to it to make it wireless, and we have a little thing in our inventories we access it with. Imagine if Minecraft was real life, and you just see someone just chilling on your roof with the jetpack on. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Ah! No! Dylan, what's up? Follow me. Yeah, then Dylan asked me to follow him because... Uh, just watch. You sick human being. <laughs> Bro, what is this? This is gross. <laughs> There's so many. I'll be right back. Sick, sick. <laughs> Look at him trying to kill all the bugs. <laughs> In this house, it's going to take us so long. <laughs> He's trying to kill him. <laughs> it's slower. Here than one. 
on day 76, I was AFK for just a second, all right? Grabbing some Doritos, and then I get back to my computer, and all my beautiful pets that I, that I love so much were gone, and I, I could not believe it. I was, I was furious. I needed answers. Where are my pets? Guys, this is not okay. What the heck? Where are my roaches? Someone start talking right now. Right now. Nothing happened to your roaches. We were never in your house. There's only one left. And you, bro, you guys are roach, roach you too? You monsters. How could you? Who was it? Josh. You know it wasn't me. Let, I was let, let, eating let, a hamburger. I thought you guys were my friends. I invited you to play with me. And I, I literally thought I could trust you. And look, look at this. Look what you've done. I don't even know anymore. It's not even worth it. You think you have friends. And the next thing you know, they kill all your pets. I don't understand, man. I've just ever since I was a kid, I just wanted people to play with. I finally had people to play with, and just they just betrayed me like that. Like, <sighs> I wasn't gonna just let them kill my very own pets that I spent so much time taking care of and get away with it unpunished. No, 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 no. I had to let them know something was coming. <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> Shut up. You guys aren't safe. I want you to know that. That's what that sign says. So read it and listen, all right? <laughs> Day 77, I worked on transferring all the machines into the warehouse and, you know, just making it all look cool. Then I worked on upgrading all the cables and made more solar panels because we needed more power. Then on day 79, I wanted to get the wireless power set up so we wouldn't have to worry about charging tools in our inventory anymore, no. So I brought Sody down to Bedrock where I showed him how to make flux dust, which you, you use for the flux network. All right, so this is how you make the dust required to make the items used for wireless power. All right. Place obsidian one block above bedrock. You toss the redstone right in between. And then I think you just punch. And then it gives you this stuff. Flux dust. Interesting. Then uh, Hacky wanted to show me something, so uh, I followed him. I don't know. <gasps> what the? <gasps> Holy. Are you serious right now? Bro, that is sick. I've always wondered what those did. Yo, no way. What? I think I have one too then. This is tight, man. Bro, are you serious? We were thinking it was getting time to kill a wither, so me and the boys yoloed it to the nether where we killed a bunch of blazes at first, and then a ton of wither skeletons. Bro, that thing fast, holy. Day 83, I was experimenting with this mine colony thing, and I was just kind of confused about it still, but I was kind of starting to figure it out. But I decided to let Hacky take over because he seemed to be interested in it. And so I let him figure that out before I knew it. He was spawning people and having them build it. I don't even know. In the meantime, though, I finally managed to make a flux controller and set up wireless power for us all. Yes, sir. Is your tool staying charged? Yeah, my tool is fully charged. That's weird. I've been nice, using it. Nice, bro. We got wireless power. Day 85, I couldn't believe it. I found a sign that said... Rochi is alive. Come and get him. Oh, oh my gosh. What could this mean? Are you serious? Did you write he might this? Be. He might be. He might be. What do you mean he might be? You, you want to go find Rochi? He's he's hiding. Where? Well, let's just say he's turtling around. I know exactly where he is. Rochi, I'm coming, buddy. Don't worry. Hacky messed up. I knew exactly what he meant when he said turtling around. Come on, that's just too easy. If there was a chance Rochi was alive, I was going to try and do everything I could in my power to save him. You'll never find him. <laughs> I see, I see where you left that last torch. <gasps> this isn't Rochi, you lied to me! Rochi's older, this is a fake! That's totally Rochi! <laughs> no, it's not! Ah! I hope you die! Just for that, guys, I have to. I'm sorry, Dylan. Oh, you got lucky! You are lucky! Ah! We were going to fight the wither soon, and so I worked on making a digital miner, and by day 88, I was finally able to make it. Now we have a digital miner. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Woo! I took it to the nether and had it search for ancient debris only, and it worked. I made a smithing table and upgraded some of my gear to netherite, and then headed back to the nether to go get some more ancient debris so, you know, Hacky and Sodi could upgrade as well. Gotta look out for your boys. Day 92, we checked out Sodi's progress on the railroad tracks, and then we took a picture. You guys know for memory's sake. And uh, then I helped Sodi and Hacky upgrade their gear to netherite. We were we were looking fresh, and, and I was feeling good. Day 93, I made some reinforced obsidian ingots because, well, I wanted to make reinforced obsidian shields. And 
And so uh, I did that and I gave them to everybody. Then I moved our waystone to a better spot and made us some wireless receivers so we could actually access our storage system remotely. Uh, pretty fancy, right? Except it only worth uh, like five, ten bucks away. But I mean, hey, it's, it's cool. Day 96, I went and got us some horses because I just felt like we needed an, a new animal around or something, you know? So I grabbed them and I flew them back and then we tamed them and saddled them up and whatnot. And uh, then I began making a cabin on top of the mountain in preparation for day 100. Then on day 99, we finally got ready to fight the wither, which uh, is a lot scarier and hardcore, I, I gotta say. It's ready, it's ready. Oh, it's fast. Oh my God. And this stupid wither was glitched, and I could, couldn't even see it at the time. It was, uh, it was all bad. We tried our best. I mean, like, guys, we, we really tried all the way until day 100, but we couldn't kill this thing. We thought to ourselves, you know, surviving is probably a lot more important than just killing this wither. So we decided to call it here, you know, take our loss and say our goodbyes to this beautiful Minecraft world, at least for now. All right, well, I guess this is it. Let's go to the train station. Who wants to do the honors? I'll deal first. Let's go, go boys, come on, hurry up. Here we go. And just let this moment sink in. All of our work, 100 days of work, boys. It looks great, I'm so proud. You know, look at us. <clears throat> we got netherite armor, we got jetpacks. Crazy. But I definitely enjoyed the series with you guys. It was a fantastic 100 days. Yes, sir, yes, sir. One last picture. All right. All right, everybody say Minecraft. <laughs> No. Minecraft! Minecraft! Man, I had so much fun making this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And hey, I want to quickly say, uh, guys, we're about to hit 100k. That That is insane. I don't I don't know how. I don't know why there's so many people subscribed to me. It's, it's literally insane, but thank you so much. And if you're new here, what's up? I'm Josh and V. Uh, just hit that subscribe button too. Join the army. Apparently, we're, we're an army. We're going fast. And we're about to hit a million soon, actually. Maybe even 10 million. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know, but I love you guys so, so much. And uh, if, you, if you're bored, you need another video to watch. There's, there's one, like, actually, there's two right on the screen right here. Just, just click them. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, I would. Shoot.